All right, guys, I'm going to do one more video here to kind of clear up the air, maybe clear some confusion on getting MechWarrior 3 vanilla to run on um, Windows 10 64-bit modern machines while using DG Voodoo 2. First thing you want to do is go to My Abandonware, download the RIP version. It's pre-patched. You don't need to download a patch. Once you have that, extract your RIP. I like to cut out the extra folder and paste it in root. Delete the old folder and then I rename it. Ah. To MechWarrior 3 like this, like it would be in the old days, except in a MicroPose folder. And as you can see, these config files are only one kilobyte. First thing you do from here, run the reg setup. This is imperative. You might get a false positive from your AV. It's clean and you need it. Second thing, type in program, go to add remove programs, click on programs and features. Next, turn Windows features on or off. Go to legacy components. You need direct play, also imperative to play this game. You might need to reboot your machine, do so. Next, run the game. No extras, just plain vanilla game. And as you can see, it's running low resolution compared to my record. Go to options, graphics and audio. Set all your options like this. Mine was already that way, yours might not be. Never know. Click accept. Back. Quit. Next, download DG Voodoo 2. You can use the latest version. I've tested this, it works. Extract that. Copy the main file, put it in the root. Go to MS folder, x86, copy all these files, copy it back in root. Next, right click DG Voodoo, control panel, run as administrator. I personally like to do this, I click this little button here. It saves the individual um, config file in your MechWarrior 3 root. You should be able to leave everything here default, except scaling mode. Go to stretch, keep aspect ratio, click on enumerate, refresh rate, hit apply. Under DirectX, most of this is fine. I personally change VRAM to 1024, text strain to 16x. Um, you need blitz stretch, it helps with the HUD. And force VSync is, again, imperative. I like to leave the DG Voodoo watermark on to make sure that it works. And then next, you want your resolution. This is important. You want to use 59 hertz or 60 hertz. Every setup is going to be different. Your monitor is going to be different than mine. If it shows 59, use it. If it shows 60, use it. Mine says 59, so I use this. You can add AA later if it's working and you want to use it. Hit apply, hit OK. The final thing to do, launch the game. As you can see, the DG Voodoo watermark is running. And this automatically set it to the DG Voodoo DirectX wrapper. If this is still on software, you want to change it, obviously. Hit accept. Now let's test it. As you can see, it's working perfectly.
And finally, some last minute entries. We use Freeco's mod um, on our Discord, and whenever we play multiplayer with other people, it's a very excellent weapons mod, and it, it adds some high-res textures and a lot of other stuff. And the last thing, if you get a DLL error, I will provide the DLL. It's clean. All links will be below in the description, as well as a Discord link if I can provide one. Hope this clears the air finally, and I hope it helps everybody. So, happy hunting, Mech Warriors.